What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you uBlock Origin in Firefox. So there's been a recent update or I guess something that's come out with Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome that's saying uBlock Origin is no longer supported or soon will no longer be supported. I know on work computers or enterprise systems, maybe work or like school systems, uBlock Origin is all already no longer supported on that. So it's Chrome's already asking you to move on from it, find something else. There are ways where you can keep using it, even though like, you know, maybe new updates for Chrome will come out that will actually make it no longer work. So that's probably why you want to move on from it. But what's good is that it works in Firefox still, and it's still supported in Firefox, and it's not going to be not supported, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it's going to be good for the future. So if you want to switch to Firefox to use uBlock Origin, that is a move you can make and I'm going to show it off how it still works here and then I'm going to show you how to get it. So here's my YouTube video. You'll see that uBlock Origin is on and then I'll just like refresh the page here and you'll see there's no ad, right? Because it's doing its job. It's blocking YouTube ads and you'll see how many has been blocked since install, blah, blah, blah. If I turn it off, refresh the page, immediately YouTube hits me with an ad. That is not my video. What is going on? 15 seconds. Oh no. We're watching an ad. So. It's very effective, it's low on CPU, it works well, so let me show you how to get this. And it's not only for YouTube ads, it works for live streaming ads and also like web page ads in general. Lots of ads that can come at you on the internet, I'm sure you guys know. So let's remove this extension and let's get it again on Firefox. So how to get an extension on Firefox, you wanna to go to the add-on manager here or the extensions button. I don't know why they call them add-ons and extensions in Firefox, they need to make up their mind, but click the puzzle piece and we'll see there's the extensions tab here. Oh, okay, I guess add-ons are the collection of all these. That's what they're trying to say, okay. Anyways, so if you wanna find something in the Firefox extension store, just search here, uBlock Origin, if you can type better than me. Make sure you search the origin as well. So I'm gonna hit enter now, and it's gonna open the extension store. And we'll see this one right here, 9.7 million users recommended, five stars, it's by Raymond Hill. This is also the developer in Chrome as well. So this is the one, this is legit. And we're gonna add this now to Firefox. So just click add to Firefox. Um, it will need to access your data for all websites because it needs to see what data is ads and what's not to be able to parse out the ads. So don't worry too much about it. It's not storing your data, it's not keeping track of it. Um, and that is also why the reason it needs access to your browser tabs because it needs to be able to block ads on all the tabs you have open. Same with um, read and modify privacy settings. Yeah, I'm not sure. We can always click learn more, but we want to run this in private windows as well. And then that means you, when you open an incognito tab, it's also blocking your ads. So you might as well check that off. Now I can click add. Okay, and now it's in the top right up here, and we can see it is now working. So let's go back to my YouTube here. We'll see this is on. So if I refresh the page, we don't even have to watch that. We can just watch my video now. Boom, blocked, uh, 16 blocked on this page. So I'm guessing there's some ads in the video, maybe some ads if I would have scrolled down, not sure. Uh, maybe it counts each ad as a bunch, but it's blocked all the ads on this page. So we can just look at the web page for what it is and like how it's always been with uBlock Origin. So this is it on Firefox, guys. It's still working. It's great. Keep that in mind. If it's, it's worth the move to Firefox, in my opinion, for it. But yeah, drop a like if you found this helpful. Drop any questions you got in the comments. I'm down to have a discussion about this. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.